Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about what happened today on FIFA Ultimate Team that a lot of people are talking about and a lot of people are very interested in, and that is the Premier League League Refresh. The SBC, they gave us a Felipe Anderson refreshed version of this SBC today. If you're doing this League SBC, there's no doubt you're gonna take this card as the option. Um, for the card that you want to pick out of the SBC. And that has affected a lot of things on the market today. The price of this SBC, um, and it's got people thinking about future league SBCs that EA could refresh as well, um, with a basically another team of the season-esque card. Like this is basically the card that he would have gotten probably if he would have gotten a team of the season card. He got a plus four boost from his highest inform and his uh, ones to watch card. 98 pace, 93 shooting, 91 passing, 96 dribbling, 80 physical. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty beast card. He just lacks a little bit in finishing. Throw a Ken style on him, get that finishing up. You could definitely play him up top. Uh, he'd be like a great left forward. He could be even a left mid, you, you know, getting up and down the side. 66 defense even. Um, 81 interceptions, so you might be able to throw them at center mid as well if you're doing like a 4-1-2-1-2 with the left mid and the right mid. If you're doing anything with that, um, that could be a card option for you guys. But I want to talk a little bit about this SBC. We're going to look at the price of the SBC and also some possible uh, upcoming possibilities for other league SBCs that could get a refresh as well. As you see here, the Premier League League SBC is 500 and 26,000 coins right now at the moment. And look at this price increase today. 300,000 coins just 12 hours before the SBC dropped. Down here at 300K even. And all of a sudden he is, boom, up to 518,000 coins today after the SBC dropped. So much more demand for this SBC because Felipe Anderson is a card that people have used all year. People have been using his special cards, his informs in their in their teams. Uh, I know there's a ton of left wings and left mids in the uh, in FIFA this year. There's a ton of them, but as I type in his name incorrectly, which is really nice. Uh, but this is kind of a card that it, people have become accustomed to this year. This 88 rated card um, is in a lot of people's teams, and now there's a 92 rated version of that card with a substantial upgrade. Uh, it's just a great player that EA gave an upgrade to today. And people love doing League SBCs because you get the packs. Um, and with all the special cards in, in packs right now with Batch 2, that is something that people are very passionate about and they want to open packs. It's the end of FIFA. They want to get the best cards in the game, try them out, have fun with them, and um, do these SBCs and get the packs back because they know they can increase their money that they're getting back for the packs. Whereas if they would have done that SBC when... And the special cards were not in packs. So I want to take a look at a few of these SBCs individually that have gone up in price a lot today. Even even one like this Tottenham Hotspur SBC, completed challenges. Let's see the price of this SBC. Look at this SBC, down at 21,000 coins. It's usually chilling about 28, 27, all the way up at 37. So it's 10K more. And I mean, for the Spurs SBC, all you need is gold cards, basically. But the one that really went crazy today is the Manchester City SBC. Look at this, going from about 57K, so it was expensive already. I think you needed a couple of silvers, and you know, there's just high rateds that you have to put in this squad. 57K, all the way up to 90,000 coins, which is basically where it sits right now, at 86,000 coins. And to be, uh, you know, brutally honest, a lot of people are overpaying for this SBC, and I wanna show you why. Look at Gabriel Jesus. His gold card is extinct, and his UCL rare item is 27,000 coins, and people are actually buying it. If you go to, go to my transfer list, I might still have it here. It's not there anymore. I watched one for 26,000 coins, and it got bought. Crazy that people are actually paying that amount for the Gabriel Jesus card just because they need him. You literally have to have that card for the um, Manchester City League SBC. Another one that is very rare, that is actually extinct right now on the market is Phil Foden. Phil Foden's silver card on this game is extinct at the moment because you do need him, or if you don't use him, you have to use like Gabriel Jesus and some other guys 
to complete that uh, Manchester City SBC. That's why that one is so expensive. But basically, all of these SBCs have gone up today. They've all gotten kind of expensive. Even Arsenal at 20, 28, 29,000 coins. I mean, look at this one. It was down here at 15, 16, 17,000 coins, usually around 20K. And it boomed right up to about 30K. And it's still right around that 30K mark. So a lot of these SBCs went way up in price today. Um, and that's basically because the card that they put in this game, this 92 rated Felipe Anderson, there's a lot of people that go want to go out and do this card, but it's almost like since this card is now in the game, this League SBC is like the price of that card on the market. And the market is going to adjust to that because there's more demand for that player because he's a very good player. And if that card was on the market, it probably would be somewhere around a 500k plus range. Being the popular card that it is, he's Premier League, he's Brazilian, he's got insane stats, he's been a staple this year in FIFA for Premier League left, mid, left mids, left wings. Um, so that's interesting if you think about it in that way. But us as traders, we see this and say, there's definitely an opportunity to make coins here. But I also want to talk about some other possibilities for these league SBCs that could get upgraded. Let's look at a, a Bundesliga, 250k right now to do the Bundesliga League SBC. A very popular person who could get upgraded from this league SBC if they would choose to do a Bundesliga League upgrade would be a guy like Poulsen. Now imagine if Poulsen got the Bundesliga League SBC refresh for Bundesliga. Like they, Let's say they refreshed it, they put Poulsen in, they give him a TOTS card, 92 or 93 rated Poulsen card comes out in the game. 92 or 93 pace, 92 or 93 shooting, middle 80s passing, 90 dribbling, 90 plus physical. This is going to be a card that people will go bonkers for. He's been popular this year with this man of the match card in the inform that a lot of people have used and he was very good early on in this game. People are going to try out that card. People are going to do the league SBC. So you look at like FC Bayern now, 72K. That's making up a lot of the price of this 250k, the whole SBC is going to go up a lot. There's going to be some opportunities to make coins on some of these league SBCs, especially the ones that require silvers. Um, even if it's one or two silvers that you have to have for this SBC, the Bundesliga SBC is pretty, pretty cheap. So if you get inside of here, if you're a guy who usually does league SBCs, uh, and it doesn't take that much work either, you can look through these SBCs and really get a gauge for why they're expensive and which ones are the most expensive. And you can honestly look at them individually, go to the completed challenge, click on that, go down and look at their price. Look at the daily price. This Freiburg SBC has been chilling like around 10,000 coins. But if they refresh it and they put a Pulsen out, I mean, you might see this SBC getting up to, you know, 15, 20,000 coins. If you buy a player in there that was going for 500 coins, a silver that you need for that SBC, or even a gold card like Gabriel Jesus is a great example. Some of those cards can go absolutely through the roof in terms of price. So Bundesliga could be a really cool one that we get. Um, you know, maybe something like the Serie A or the La Liga Santander. You know, maybe they put out a boosted version. Uh, we've already had an Inaki Williams, but that's who came to mind right away for La Liga Santander. There's plenty of options out there. You know, the Premier League. They chose a good player that could have gotten a team this season, Felipe Anderson, and they put him in the refresh. So it looks like they're going to choose good players for these refreshes if they continue to do them, which I think they will. They're not just going to do one and stop. They're not just going to do the Premier League one and stop, but they're going to they're going to continue to do this for other league SBC. So again, if uh, if you think they could do Bundesliga, maybe hop on and look for some investments with the Bundesliga cards, some silvers, some golds that you really need for that SBC. Serie A, similar, um, but I would say the second most hype one would be a Bundesliga or La Liga Santander, depending on the player, but a Poulsen would be super dope. I would try to finish it if Poulsen came out. You can see that I have a few of these that I've done and haven't finished yet entirely, but this would be a perfect time. Even if you have some of these that are half done, maybe even just go right now for some of the cheaper ones like Bundesliga. You think they could put a big card out like a James Rodriguez uh, SBC card, something like that. Maybe go ahead and complete the Bundesliga SBC or get yourself really close to completing it so that if that SBC refresh comes out for any of these major leagues, you can go ahead and do that at a very discounted price as well. And one other thing that I wanted to mention, speaking of discounted prices, for these league SBCs, a lot of times they're 
the prices of those cards are based on and they're driven by silvers. Um, so silvers are really the ones that really drive the, the expenses up for especially a guy like um, like the Huesca SBC for La Liga. You know, you need a lot of silvers and they're expensive for that SBC. If we can go take a look at some of those on the market actually, some of those silvers are like 15, 16,000 coins um, for that league SBC. And on Thursday with marquee matchups, what happens is, um, look at this, the cheapest Huesca silver card, 6,000 coins, 6,000 coins for the cheapest one at the moment. And on Thursday with marquee matchups, a lot of times they put out um, like Electrum player packs, which contain silvers, and usually a good time to get some of these cards is on Thursdays when they put out the new uh, marquee matchups. You see rare Electrum players pack and a rare Electrum players pack for Spurs versus Manchester, Juventus, and Inter. So watch marquee matchups. And people are doing this right now because there's the special cards and packs. Everybody's all about packs right now. So keep a watch on these SBCs. If you do see silver players in the packs for the SBCs, take note of that. Get on the market in the hour or two after marquee matchups comes out or any if they put out like a you know have they they have the throwback team of the year SBC they've been giving us these random SBC sets that give out random packs um, take a look at those packs if they give out silvers get on the market if it's the SBC a lot of people are going to be doing get on the market and check out those cards and the other thing that's keeping league SBCs kind of propped up in price right now are some of these higher rated like the 81s and the 82s still hovering around 1000 coins because of the team of the week upgrade SBCs. So this is keeping some of those prices of league SBCs lifted up a little bit. Um, of course, like the 83s, if you need any of those for the league SBC, those are kind of inflated as well. So again, if you're somebody who wants to do league SBCs, if that is an interest that you have, maybe go out, stock your club with some cards if you either want to invest in the league SBCs that could be coming up, the refreshes, or if you want to actually complete them, Basically, take this as an opportunity to kind of plan ahead for a little bit of that period in time coming up with the possibility of more League SBC refreshes coming. So that was the main point of the video that I wanted to talk about with you guys today. League SBCs are alive and well. I mean, a lot of people are doing League SBCs. Um, they are crafting with League SBCs, and they're very profitable from these League SBCs. I just said League SBCs like 10 times. But they're profitable right now because um, there's all those special cards and packs. We have the Batch 2 cards and packs for another week and a half. A lot of special cards, special Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, all those guys are in packs right now. And you have an opportunity to pack them because if you get like a discard man of the match, you know that discards for 10,000 coins. And for a lot of the SBCs in the Bundesliga, in the La Liga, that's most of the SBC cost. You pack a couple of those from the packs, from the grinding, packing those cards, you're making your money back very, very easily on these SBCs. So I wanted to kind of bring a video to you guys today talking about that kind of stuff. Really quickly at the end here, I want to look at an SBC that we also got today was the Joe Gomez center back SBC, which is pretty good value. Um, if you're somebody who's on a lower coin budget, if you have somewhere around like 70 to 100,000 coins and you need a center back in your team, that is a big upgrade from like maybe a gold card or gold version of a player. This is a very good center back. A lot of people loved this card when it first came out. Um, and it links to that footies walker, which a lot of people like that card as well. But this is one thing I want to show you guys that just, just to show you that FIFA isn't entirely dead yet. I know yesterday in my video, I was pretty downbeat. I was pretty upset with my experience in the weekend league. I wasn't happy with FIFA at the moment. But this is how you can tell that FIFA is not dead. And today, obviously, you see me in a much better spirits. I got out of the weekend league slump. We're back looking at the market and looking at stuff that moved inside of the game. Look at this Alexander Arnold card. Last night, I actually looked, talked to him on my video yesterday, talked about him. 78,000 coins, 80,000 coins at the lowest point, right before the Joe Gomez SBC drops. And boom, up at 126 thousand coins crazy rise on that card it just shows you that there are people playing this game especially on the lower tier budgets right now people are, are all about getting cards and coins in this game having fun with the game and there's still people that are doing plenty of stuff on the game 
as you see a lot of these card prices dropping. Wow, that's pretty low for that left wing Ronaldo right there um, for that card. So again, this week, I would not expect I would not expect to see another league SBC refresh. Maybe this week I would expect to see that like next week probably like one per week. Maybe one coming at like the very end of the week if EA wanted to do that. I'm sure they saw how the how hype it was today. I'm sure they're seeing that the league SBC cost has gone up and up, and that's draining coins from people's clubs, and they like that because that in ten you know that makes them money in the end. People lose coins, all that stuff. Again, the upgrades were refreshed today, which is a GG. They're there. They're fine. I'll take them. I'm going to do some more of these. Honestly, we're going to do some more of these because we need to keep crafting Maldini. Um, and again, this is something you can put some cards into as well from League SBCs if you do complete those and get some packs back from those. So again, I wanted to bring you that video today looking at the um, left mid version, the new League SBC refresh of Felipe Anderson. I'm glad they did this. It's something different. When they did it the first time of the year, it was a big surprise. People were all about it and they did it again and they did it the right way with Felipe Anderson, giving him a beast, beast card, which I'm very happy that they did do that. So if you enjoyed the video, boys, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.